Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. My name is Mr. Lamb. I will be walking you through fourth grade English, week number 12 and day number four. Um, and today's lesson is gonna be about composition, all right? We'll give you an opportunity to practice your composition skills. How do we do that? Well, you get a chance to rewrite the essay that you read with us a few days ago, right? So that's day one of this week. We read about a particular topic. Well, go ahead and try to rewrite that topic to build your composition skills. Well, how do you do that? Well, there's a trick to it, which I would like to remind you of right now. Watch with me. All right, what is the trick to compositions? <laughs> okay, let's see the trick to this thing over here. So compositions, well, how do you do that? Well, you're going to say, ask yourself questions, right? I'll keep reminding you of this so you can be really good at it. Ask questions, all right? So questions like, what is this topic all about? Why are we talking about it? How are we going to apply the information? You're going to ask this kind of questions. What, why not? Then answer questions in a bullet form, all right? You're gonna answer your questions in bullet fashion, okay? And then you're gonna turn bullet point answers, turn bullet point answers to sentences, okay? So that's how you do it. And then number four, arrange sentences into paragraphs okay and then number five you are going to review all right really cool process right ask questions answer your questions as bullet points turn your bullet point answers to sentences Convert your sentences to paragraphs. Rearrange those sentences. Rearrange those paragraphs. And then go ahead and review. And by the time you go through that process, you would have successfully composed an article, written an essay, or uh, become a good writer. All right. So just go ahead and do that. Use the space um, on page number 76 of your workbook. If the space is not big enough, you're welcome to get a notepad over there to make your composition exercise really good for you. Go ahead and do it over again with a pencil and erase it or type it on the computer. Make sure you get good at writing. All right. Well, I want to thank you, boys and girls, for joining me today. Remember, God cares about you, and so do we. Bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born.